Hello Gemini, thank you for clicking on my channel and welcome to the journey home. My name is Catherine and I live in Nova Scotia, Canada. This is your March forecast ahead. And for Michael who keeps complaining about wanting to see the animals, we have a kitten for you. All right, what is the message for Gemini in the month of March? A message spirit for Gemini in the month of March. We have the seven of air to begin. The six of earth. The three of air. And the king of earth. Ace of Air, King of Air, Fortune's Wheel, the King of Water, Nine of Fire, Ace of Earth, <coughs> pardon me. COVID cough. Eight of Earth. And the Empress. Well, this is interesting. Um, the first impression I got while I was laying these out was um, secrecy regarding money. At the heart of your reading, we have the King of Air and the Fortune's Wheel. So there's this turnaround of breakthrough, um, moving into a time of luck being on your side, things falling into place for you. And this feels very much like in the business sense because of the King of Air. This is legalities, non-emotional, clear thinking, very precise language when speaking and it may seem a little harsh so in the month of March it looks like a little abrasive for you when it comes to dealing with people we begin the month with you strategizing on how the money flow is going to work for you you're also dealing with some pain here uh, going through some healing Perhaps because we're in this transition period. Well, labor is painful, isn't it? Some of you may be dealing with a, an earth sign that has caused you pain in the past who may come into the picture offering some kind of compensation for their past behavior. But there's some kind of shadowy aspect going on with this person. Not necessarily an earth sign, but perhaps someone who's coming forward, doesn't matter what sign, but they're coming forward with, with the attitude of bringing stability uh, to a situation or making an offer uh, to build bridges with you. But there's some kind of shadowy aspect here. The result of all of this is showing that you are, with the Empress, birthing something new. Um, but taking into account what this offer is, you're already standing on your own. You don't need this. It does feel somewhat deceptive here. You may be cutting off this deception. And maybe in the process of cutting off this deception, though it may be somewhat painful, it may be someone you know or care about, um, it reveals their true colors, their true nature. It's almost like someone coming up to you with a, a, a glamour smile. Have I got a deal for you? Or I have the, the proposition for you, Gemini. But as you decline, because you're standing strong on your own, this deception is revealed. Their true colors start to come out. Your defenses come up. 
you've got two aces here, the ace of air and the ace of earth. So you are quite well on your own. You don't need this proposition, whatever this proposition is coming for you in March. We've got the eight of earth. That's being the master of your own destiny. Let's clarify this message. So far, it's looking like someone will be approaching you in March, perhaps wanting to make you see their way of things and, you know, jump on the bandwagon, Gemini. And you're not willing to jump on the bandwagon. You've got your own bandwagon going here. Maybe part of that deception is, um, well, sabotage is a bit of a harsh word, but patience. This is Sagittarian energy. Patience. Oh, okay. This sounds more like strategy than... The need to wait and see how things unfold with ever, whatever this is that's being proposed to you. Or perhaps when you see this person, Gemini, you know what they're like, so you're just being patient. This also indicates, because of the Six of Earth, about uh, money flow. The patience with money flow. Perhaps um, getting your feet wet and being patient for that return on investment sacral chakra uh there's reciprocity here with uh sensuality this almost looks like a romantic interlude for you being able to share ideas back and forth with someone that turns you on or their ideas turn you on realizing you need patience as things unfold this seems like a painful situation perhaps oh because i know two of you in this situation perhaps from being separated from being apart and wanting to come together in union positive planning or patient planning so this will be a month of planning for you This is starting to look more like, I still feel like someone is approaching you, Gemini, that is not, maybe not intentionally being deceptive, but not revealing everything. But this also looks very much like this interaction with, this could be someone else completely. This interaction that is, um, there's sexual overtones here. Patiently planning for a future stability with this person. Crown chakra. Okay, you are definitely connected with someone who is of like mind. partnerships and alliances yeah you're cutting out one you're cutting out a partnership here in order to either explore this coming in or to solidify what has been growing what has been growing so i think there's going to be is some type of a temptation for you this could be on a work level Though it could be someone coming towards you on a romantic level. The waiting game. The waiting for your king of air. The waiting for clarity. The discussion. Or waiting to see how things unfold to see what may have been hidden. Base chakra. All right. Sorry, guys. Very, very sorry. I was thinking of the base chakra when I looked at the sacral chakra. This base chakra is about the sensuality, the sexuality. This is the I want. 
being patient because of something you really want. You're trying to be patient. You're trying to plan for that future stability. You are connected uh, together. Whether you know this person yet or not, you're already psychically connected. The crown chakra is that umbilical cord to source above. So many of you are meditating or praying or asking universe to bring in this person. Partnerships and alliances not only solidify, but at the same time, what's necessary to, to be finalized is being finalized. Whether that is cutting out necessary impediments and then waiting for that reward. This base chakra, the sensuality, landed on fortune's wheel. So there's something of a real turn on, Gemini, in your life that is lucrative monetary gains coming into a cycle of, wow, some of you are really going to have some good loving this almost has one of those euphoric feelings to me king of water is being clarified by triumphant success so look at that partnerships and alliances on the romantic level and cutting out because the the king of cups not only is the romantic or the king of love it also has a shadowy side. Deep waters, emotions. Maybe overcoming an... Uh, uh, trying to find the right words here, Gemini. With the Ace of Swords here that clarity, the uncovering of the secrets or the the depth or the understanding of the depth with this person. This is definitely a, a turning out to be a love reading. Passion ignited. So this person breaks through your boundaries. Solitude, hermit, knowing, waiting patiently for this new beginning, this new life, this new transition that we're going through that we're all going through and in your case moving you to that new beginning that breakthrough left brain thinking we're getting a lot of energies coming in on the hermits on the hermit um energy of understanding that spiritual side and at the same time being diplomatic. Sealing some deals. Problem solving. Preparing for that breakthrough. Aid of Earth is being mental conflict. Some of you are second guessing your abilities. You know, I know that I'm a master of my own destiny. I'm a master at what I do. But perhaps there's some conflicts. This also is indicating decisions that are needed to be made, which is why you may be withdrawing or retreating. And I'm, I have to go back to the beginning of this reading, Gemini, that there that feels like there's some third person who is trying to get under your skin not in a bad way but in a more flirtatious way feels like karmic challenges this month for you conflict and defeat look at that this is nicely aspected this is seeing the changes that are needed to be made making that decision and overcoming now five is like disappointment in, in the sense that aspected with the empress is like why am i having to wait so long for this new beginning this new birth 
this is at the heart of the reading it strongly feels like Gemini it's already happening you just don't see it yet but this feels well aspected with the Empress this to me is just a phase a temporary energy could it be the spring blues that people get that moment of weakness before those days are long enough and warm enough that you're rejuvenated by the sun so let's tink stayed through the whole reading just to entertain you let's get a message of love for the month of march for gemini month of march for gemini a message of love what is the message advice or forecast for gemini month of march gemini month of march let your friends help you so some of you may be feeling a little defensive thus the nine of fire passion ignited feeling defensive probably trying to protect your heart let your friends help you ask for and accept support from other open discussions over finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life right now that's affecting everyone though Gemini truly as the economy crashes give your relationship a chance work on this partnership it is worth waiting for and enjoy the bliss of holiday time together this whether or not this happens in March you guys are able to take some time out we know we're going through an economic crash but this really feels as soon as I saw it enjoy those little bits of time you have together make them special know that all of this is worth the wait I hope that helped you I wish you all of the best in abundance and love and joy in the month of March as we move towards spring and a new day thanks for joining me Gemini God bless bye for now